Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 15th of September 2021. Before I get uh, into this too much, I'd like to apologise for the title of this video to my truther friends. And if you're unfamiliar with the term truther, it's the polite term for conspiracy theorist. But as this uh, video is aimed more at a kind of a mainstream audience who would like to understand where truthers are coming from, I'll kind of refer to truthers as, um, well, you know, the things we believe in as conspiracy theorists. Uh, and um, because the question I'd like to ask is, do you think conspiracy theorists are true, uh, theories are true? Um, either some of them or all of them. Probably thinking if you're not a truther or a conspiracy theorist, uh, no, they're not. But I'm going to show you or just give you one reason why you might want to change your mind on that. Because why do you think there's so much vehemence and ridicule surrounding uh, conspiracy theorists and conspiracy theories? And just ask yourself that uh, that one question, you know, why is it? Because you don't get that with, um, you know, people who believe in the paranormal and ghosts and all that sort of thing, do you? You know, if I said, um, oh yeah, you know, uh, I, I went to this sort of old, really old house uh, the other day and I think I saw a ghost, um, people wouldn't turn around and go, oh, you're just a ghostist, you are. Oh, you're just a paranormalist. I don't want to hear. I don't want to know what you what you sort of uh, got to say about that. Uh, no, no, you, you sort of uh, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah. What? Yeah. What did you see? What did you see? Uh, you know. And then you sort of sit down and enjoy a nice sort of ghost story. So surely, if kind of the government and the mainstream media and the mainstream narrative and mainstream society were kind of so comfortable in what they kind of believe, surely they'd be treating conspiracy theorists and theories in exactly the same way as ghost stories. You know, if I turned around and, and said to you, um, you know, I'm not sure the, the uh, Kennedy assassination was all that it was cracked up to be or all that it seems, um, or the same with the events of 9-11 um, and uh, the narrative surrounding the situation we're in now. Uh, you know, if you're sort of so comfortable in your views, surely you'd be, you, you know, happy to hear me out. You'd sort of go, oh, oh, right, you know, why do you think that? Tell me more, tell me more. You know, kind of comfortable that what you sort of uh, believe is true and that what I'm about to come out with is sort of probably not true. But no, that's not the reaction you get, is it? It's sort of one of kind of ridicule, uh, one of, well, disgust is probably a too strong a, a word, but, uh, uh, you know, vehemence. Vehemence is uh, what you tend to get. Oh, you're just a conspiracy theorist. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. And it kind of makes you wonder why. Yeah, what is it that you're not confident in about the mainstream narrative? So, and and then once you're not sort of quite 100% confident in it, which you can't be if you're coming out with that kind of reaction, uh, ask yourself why you're not comfortable is it uh, yeah, because you're beginning to suspect that uh, uh, truthers um, have a point after all? More and more people are coming to that conclusion. And uh, there's, there's that joke that's running around currently. What's the difference between a conspiracy theory and the truth? Uh, about six months. You know, this time last year, the whole talk of uh, v passports, for instance, that was, oh yeah, that's just a conspiracy theory. And here we are sort of, um, you know, looking at them. Okay, I know the plans have supposedly been shelved for a while, but they're certainly on the agenda, aren't they? 
So, yeah, you know, there's just a couple of things to think about there, I think. And, um, you know, if your belief in the mainstream narrative was so solid, why the vehemence? And another thing that kind of annoys me about this whole malarkey is people have always told me, um, kind of pretty much all the way through my life, that, you know, I've got a good head on my shoulders, you know, I've got a good level of intelligence and common sense. Don't, personally, I don't think I'm particularly intelligent, probably just averagely intelligent. Uh, maybe I've got sort of a bit more common sense than some, but people seem to come to me or have come to me in the past, um, often with things like, you know, scams, things they've got through the post, thing, phone calls they've got, and they've come to me and said, yeah, do you think this is um, genuine, this thing? Um, you know, because I had this phone call saying, uh, this guy was saying that my there's a problem with, with my computer and they can fix it if I sort of pay them 50 quid. Do you think that's a, uh, a scam? And I, of course, I sort of turn around and go, yeah, of course it's a scam. How are they going to know down the phone that there's a problem with your uh, your, your computer? And, and people have always sort of said, oh, oh, thanks, you know, you saved me you probably saved me 50 quid there, thank you. And uh, uh, and they've kind of valued my opinion on these sort of scams. So it really kind of saddens me that, you know, kind of the biggest scam of all, and one that could end up costing people their lives uh, rather than 50 quid, 100 quid, uh, all of a sudden it's... No, you're you're just a conspiracy theorist. You are. Um, no, I've done some due diligence and some research, and I think there is something in uh, uh, what these um, what the truth of mo movement is saying, and what a lot of these experts are saying. So, and I think you know what the mainstream media and the government are saying is at best half true, and. Uh, uh, at worst, yeah, complete and utter lies. So you really need to be careful before doing anything they're asking you to do. But no, you know, the biggest scam, the most dangerous scam, all of a sudden it's, uh, oh no, I'm not going to listen to you. <laughs> so very frustrating that, I must say, I've got to say. And really, I think going forward, we're going to have to just get away from this belief, this inbuilt belief that uh, we've all got. And I used to have it myself until just uh, not that long ago. This kind of belief and trust in people who wear suits, who wear white coats, who are in positions of, of authority. I think from here on in, we've got to distrust those people massively and keep on distrusting them until it's proven beyond the shadow of a doubt that what they say is true. And when I say proven, I don't mean it's because the BBC have backed them up either. I mean, it's, you know, you've got to do a bit of a more due diligence now, I think, going forward and always be prepared to call these people and authority out and just not trust them uh, in the first place until it's kind of proven that you can trust them. So, yeah, just a few thoughts there, a few things I thought I'd get off my mind today, and I'll leave it there. Back tomorrow. Tim from Fairplay Now, thanks for watching.